Now, South Africans will be taken back to the golden era of artistic and musical genius that is Sophia Town. Joburg will celebrate the vibrant cultural hub of its heydays next month. Sophia Town Mix will pay homage to the stories, uh, the story suburbs that shape the cultural and political landscape of South Africa. Prepare to step back in time with alluring jazz performances as well as an exhibition of the life and times of trailblazing South African journalist Henry Ngomalo. I'm now joined by Project and Public Culture Manager at the City of Joburg, Palesa Nyaka. Good evening to you, Palesa. Thank you very much for joining us here uh, in studio. I really appreciate your time. So, Thank Sophia you. Town Mix, a celebration of culture, history, and community spirit. Talk to us about the event and exhibition and what people can expect. I mean, so this Sophia Town Mix is quite exciting for us because it really pays homage to a hero, Dr. A.B. Kluma particularly. Um, and this is really the site that we're wanting to promote. Um, so this particular site is a, is a site that, that belongs to a black intellectual of the time, the first a medical doctor in South Africa. Yes. Um, he was an ANC president. His wife was a social worker as well as uh, the first Women's League um, ANC president. So this particular site was re uh, recently acquired by us in the city and we are wanting to really promote the site through the Sophia Town Mix. And we're having a jazz concert as well as a photographic exhibition and we're inviting young artists to come and sell different arts, crafts, and materials that are related to Sophia Town in its heyday. Mm. But Lisa, why is it important to continue telling these stories? Why is it important to keep these stories alive and not mm. for them to be lost in history? I mean, as we can see that uh, it's quite busy these days. There's, yeah. there's all <laughs> sorts of social media distractions and so on and so forth. So it's really important for us to remind people of, of the significant heritage that exists within the city. Um, similarly to that, we're wanting to educate the youth about pieces of history that may not be so popular, um, such as this particular house, which yes. is actually also the first, sorry, not the first, one of the only remaining historic houses that survived the 1955 um, Sophia Town removals, forced removals. Yeah. 